Okay, so I just did my makeup for my ASMR channel. Having a little sugar cookie iced latte from Starbucks now that the holiday drinks are back. Trying to get my new iPhone situated. The vibe. Um, yeah, it's hard to like transition my phone. And now I'm about to wave my hair because I'm going to start filming today. I've already been filming a little bit today, but obviously because I was doing ASMR. <sighs> but I wanted to talk about this and I was like kind of debating if I should because today, what is today's date? Today, November 4th, is like a day that I'm very grateful for. I've always talked about gratitude and being thankful for things. And rather than focus on negative, I always choose to focus on like the positive. I'm going to start like waving my hair while I'm doing this because it's going to take a while. Um, now, I am not one to gloat anymore. I think I used to gloat, but gloating, gloating can be kind of unbecoming. Oh, wow. I look very pale compared. This is uh, this lighting. I don't know. I don't know why that's making me look like this. I swear my, I guess maybe this is the wrong color foundation. Anyways, my nerves are so pale. Um, so like I said, I try not to focus on the negative. I don't even know what I'm doing. So please don't follow my tutorial on how to do this because I don't know what I'm doing, but um, kind of like just putting a wave in my hair, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I took too big of a piece. But some of you may be aware, some of you may not be aware, but a lot of people, enough people are aware. I had a really vicious hate subreddit dedicated to me. Vicious. Vile. Not only was it a super invasive like they would literally post like it's public record. So it's not like, it's not that big of a deal. It's just more creepy. This subreddit, first and foremost, I should preface all this by saying today, well, today the subreddit was taken down, which is really big because I only got introduced to Reddit sometime last year. I didn't know it existed. This hate Reddit, Reddit existed, um, it started last year. I, last year, obviously, I got, like, it's not just hate online, right? Like, you you post videos, you expect to get people to, like, hate on you or whatever. You know, it's part of, part of it, right? But these people go, like, went other levels. They were digging up so much personal information, not just on us, but people that were, like, associated with us in our lives. And I'll tell you, like, a most recent example as they're so obsessive, right? They were posting like which hospital I gave birth, my doctor's information. They would see like, like they would zoom into like my um, ultrasounds and like they, they, they would, when I was first announcing that I was going to, then they would like post the name of that. When I first was getting fertility treatments, they were calling every infertility center in my area and telling them like, you know, don't, don't help this person reproduce, like for real, posting phone numbers of other people to like report it aside from just like sponsors and stuff and like, don't, don't support this person, whatever. Okay, fine. But like calling doctors, like telling them to like, not work on me, like not help me conceive like other level stuff to up to like when I gave birth. I mean, they for so long were like, Oh, she's not even pregnant. Like trying to like, I mean, the stuff they would just post was, like, so crazy and, like, scary. Honestly, scary because, again, they were calling, like, my doctors and stuff like that. Um, like, most recent is this thing with, like, oh, she, like, they just want, they, like, have such evil eye, right? Like, I, Hamsa, 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 like, you know, I ward off any evil eye and I do think it helps, but... Um, like they just want so bad for me to like fall. So they would be like, now I see the Reddit was taken down and obviously, you know, I still get hate on Twitter from them because it's like the same rhetoric, right? Sorry, I'm like kind of like shaken by it. But then they'd be like, oh, like you can't even afford to pay your property taxes. You guys, my property taxes, like this is how crazy it's public record, whatever. My property taxes due for next year, like, the the due date was November 1st. It's November 4th right now. 
and it doesn't become delinquent until after December 12th. We sent the check-in, whatever. It obviously hasn't been processed yet. And that's just for the first half of our payments for next year for our property taxes. It was due November 1st. They looked up online, whatever. It's November 4th. They posted about it November 2nd. Like, pay your property taxes. Like, Malibu's not going to have a roof over her. They would post Malibu. They would, like, blur out her face. But, like, make fun of my child. Like, it, it was so scary and so insane. And... Like it was crazy and I would report to Reddit every day because not only did I not consent to have my child's face on Reddit where they literally just bash her and cite hate, like it's like, insane, like disgusting. I mean, there were people on Reddit that were like someone calling Dior to see if they sent me a baby gift. Like literally there's a video of someone from the Trishy Lane Reddit being like calling, hi, do you give out, would you like send gifts to uh, clients like is that something you guys would do like just a customer service number I'm like it's like scary like scary I posted like a little pencil outline of our nursery early on and they're like putting all the pieces together oh we know oh they thought they knew Malibu they're like oh we know the name's gonna be Malibu like as if it was like some big secret I talked about the name Malibu literally 10 years of my like 10 years of being on YouTube or 10 of the 16 years of being on YouTube like always talked about that name I mean, they're obviously like followers, like they're people who watch every move, but like the negativity and the hate was crazy. Well, and it's, I know it's hard to get, first of all, Reddit should be more monitored because I would report for like the bullying and harassment because they say they don't tolerate it, but like they were literally bullying my child for like having a birthmark. Like it's insane. They're, they're, it was crazy. Sorry, I'm like shaking because like it's been such like this battle, right? Like last year, there's just like just an unwarranted amount of hate. Like I understand like hating on me, hating for my actions, whatever. But like digging into like Moses's personal like life and past and all that and like reaching out to people that are like connected to us from like literally like 15 years ago. It was like so scary. It's, it's, it's like scary is what it is because it's just it's never ending. They were posting my like where my child would go to school. We're homeschooling my, our daughter, but like the schools around us, um, they're like contacting, like it was, it was insane that it was on for that long. And I reported every day for that, especially once my child was born. I was like, okay, like I do post my daughter online, but I do not consent for my daughter to be posted on like a hate Reddit. Like that's insane. Try to contact my lawyers because like, and, and, and lawyers are expensive. I am the last person. I don't sue people. Like there was a rumor around that I was like trying to sue people and stuff like that. I don't sue people. It's expensive. It's hard to like prove anything like defamation. It's like, you know, I just, I really don't, I don't like lawyers. I don't like lawsuits, nothing. But I was like, hey, I, I just need help. Like they're like, it's scary. It's like scary at this point. And, um. But then one thing I guess read it and there was even an article and I never tweeted about it, talked about it. Cause again, I don't like to focus on negativity. I didn't want to draw attention to this place. Um, by the way, the name Trishy Land, like I own the URLs. Like that was like my Patreon for so long. I had merch, like they like weren't creative at all. But anyways, um, I like just didn't talk about it again. I don't like to focus on the negativity and I started to feel helpless. I was like, okay, there's nothing I can do. Like they're just, they're just going to do this. Like, I don't know. I don't know what. But one thing apparently they do take seriously over there more than literally posting a newborn and like making fun of a newborn. Um, or even like they were pretty much like my family tree. Like it was crazy. Like relatives that I don't even know. And it was nuts is copyright infringement copyright violation apparently something that they do take seriously and I started reporting every single day you guys know how many videos I post vlog channel main channel ASMR podcast channel I have four channels that I post almost every day if not every other day between one of the four channels I probably post I probably post 16 videos a week on YouTube between all four of my channels like maybe 20 like a lot so that's like 80 videos a month I post a lot of videos okay they would rip my videos, like download my videos, not post a link. Because here's the thing, at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? If they want to come like here and like 
hate watch me or whatever, fine. Give me those views. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously here on YouTube, like you get money from views, but they would like rip it off. They were doing it with my TikToks too, which I was like, I don't know why they did that because my TikTok always get like a lot of views because I'm just popping on TikTok and like, I feel like the TikTok people just like don't really care about Reddit. Um, but they would rip my videos off within an hour and re-upload them to to Reddit. So I would report it. I'd report all of them. And yes, it did take a lot of time. And I would see them be like, oh my gosh, I should, you should be with your newborn right now. And you're just reporting. I'm like, um, it's like the principle of it. You know what I mean? It really is the principle of it. It's, you know, because like I said, it's hard to have like a lawsuit where you can prove damages, but this is like something where I could actually prove damages because it's like, but again, it's more like the principle of it. Like some of those would have like 300 comments and stuff like that. I was like, oh, hell no. Like if y'all gonna be nasty and hateful, like y'all can do it individually on my videos. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'll just block you, <laughs> but you're not going to do it here. And so I don't know. So I had a report because if you're the, if you're the owner of the videos, like does this look good? I don't know. Debating. I feel like it kind of looked weird up here. But these people, it was, it was, it's not, they, they were under the guise of like, we're holding Trisha accountable. It was not. It was making fun of the way my daughter looks. It was like finding things that weren't there. They would constantly like photoshopping angles. Like it, it really was just making fun of the way me, my husband and my baby look like they would say, and it was vile. Like, I don't even like want to repeat it. Like the stuff like about like my husband, like the stuff they would say was like insane. And of course they made up a lot of stuff too. Like they made up a ton of stuff, but like, it was just making fun of our looks. I'm fat. Moses is fat. Like literally like putting numbers for CPS to have my child taken away because I post her on the internet. Like they were they, wishing that she, like foster care would take her when like we're both stay at home parents that have good income and like dough on her and like are with her 24 seven. Like it was so so it was scary it was scary and like I really do feel like they should have I don't know I don't know what the I don't know what the answer is but like posting stuff about a child and like doxing like just the fact that they can like post where I live and my doctor's information and like sometimes reddit would take it down because I would report I would report that I would send emails I had like three different email addresses for reddit which is like really hard to find I had my lawyer send a letter like Again, and my, even my lawyer was like, it's hard. Reddit's just like a hard thing to navigate. And um, this is, oh, I was, and I, I don't think I mentioned, I was going there earlier, but I forgot to say. NBC News, um, they did like an article about Trishy Land. And it's actually from an author who I've actually talked to on the phone before, a journalist, I should say, who actually wrote a really like uh, disparaging article about me last year. It was really awful, um, accusing me of something really, really terrible of being, um, I don't even like want to say it, but they kind of just went with the Trishy Land rhetoric of what they were saying and just like spinning it into something that was really gross. And so she reached out to me this year and she's like, Hey, the Trishy Land Reddit is really bad. I was wondering if you had any comment, I'm going to do a piece on it. And I had no comment. I didn't reply to her because I just, after that article, I was like, I don't really, I don't really like respect this, but she did this article. It was it was, she did so much, she gathered so much information of just like the harassment, the bullying, like stuff that I didn't even know. I saved all her research and I sent it to my lawyer. And again, this was like before I had my daughter. So this was like in August. So I don't, I don't know if any of this had anything to do with it or just me reporting or other people reporting. I don't know. But, um, you know, she did write an article about how like vile, like this is like the worst Reddit she'd ever seen. The worst subreddit. And subreddit or Reddit replied to her and just like the was like well we're looking into this or something and that was before she was born too that was like early September I think that article came out and I do appreciate the article like that someone who obviously was also not very nice to me or going with taking something and turning it into something else like taking like a few jokes I made and now I'm automatically labeled as something like I was like it was not cool but I mean, it's something, it's, it's, 
Ugh, I don't even like want to talk about it. But um, that Reddit was also like it was. If I'm being real, if I'm being super real, the most hurtful thing of all. And I feel like comfortable to talk about this now because I won't get like ridiculed over there. Of course, they're going to come back with another Reddit because they were deleted before. I think there was like an, I, before I kind of knew about this, they were like a different Reddit, but it didn't have as many followers. Um, but the worst thing of all was being accused of lying about something that like very serious happened to me when I was younger. And they try to disprove it. And when another person came forward and said, yeah, like I, I had like that same experience. We were in the same class. Like, you know, I, I, we always heard similar things. Like, this is what happened. This is, you know, all stuff like that. Trying to explain it. The person basically got, got bullied off the internet. They were accused that person of being me. And then that person just like went away because they were too scared of the backlash, which it is scary. The backlash is scary on there. Um, and this was someone that I hadn't talked to since we were in middle school together, since we were 12, so 22 years. And this person came out in my defense and I had never talked to this person in that long. But it was a real person, people proved it was a real person. And there was a lot of people that did see it, that did see it and it was crazy. But because one person decided, oh, this is a lot, everyone went with it. And it was so traumatizing to me last year, like it was really traumatizing. And there's a lot of things because I was like, you know, there's like a lot of things to say, but like, and I don't want to like even go back into it because it's just like, I decided for myself this year that I was, especially once I found out I was pregnant, that I'm not going to go, I'm not going to always defend myself on the internet and like try and prove everything because at the end of the day, it's exhausting. And at the end of the day, people are just, they're always just, like I said, there can be concrete evidence. There can be another person that comes forward. There can be another person that says, yeah, this is actually the truth. It could be blatantly like this. Like it was almost like even the pregnancy, she's lying about a pregnancy. Oh, she, who's going to, who's going to guess that she's going to do this. There was even theories that my sister was carrying my child and, or, or carrying a baby. And I was going to take that baby and say it was mine. Like they were wishing the worst. They were wishing that I would have all this stuff during my pregnancy. They were wishing miscarriage. They were like wishing the worst. They were wishing that I had a difficult labor, a difficult fourth trimester. Once I had gave birth and I was like, oh, she's gonna, the depression, like wishing just the worst and wishing that my baby was taken away. Like it was vile, it was vile. And some of these people make videos and show their face online. And there's a lot of people that follow this and just like spew this nasty, untrue rhetoric and it was crazy it was allowed for so long but I am so like so anyways and I, I wouldn't even say happy but I am happy because it's it's more of a relief when I when I heard that it was gone today I was like it's a relief because you know what I do get a lot of love and positivity and I have people that moderate um this channel and my ASMR channel and honestly I should have someone moderate my vlog channel um, because it just feels a safe space because so many people are like, you know, I, I'm scared to comment because, you know, I get so much hate and now I feel like that fear is gone a little bit, you know, and they're not going to have this sub that like looks into your background and expose you, you know what I mean? For being a support, like it's literally like people who were just supporting me would get exposed on, on there. So, whew, I... I don't know if I should thank Reddit. I mean, it took a long time, but I'm thankful that the Reddit is down. I'm thankful that Reddit did take something seriously if it's the copyright, because you know what? I do put a lot of work in my videos. I post a lot. I post a lot because the YouTube climate has changed and I'm trying to adapt to it and still make my income, still make my living. And I work really hard. And it's probably the hardest I've worked in a long time making videos. Yeah, they're not like fancy and edited, but I spend hours and hours and I upload hours and hours of content daily to YouTube. So it's, you know, the copyright, I'm glad they took that seriously um, because they re-upload every single video within an hour of me posting. And people would go there just to hate and not give me the views or whatever. And again, it's like, if you want to hate, come watch the channel. Like, I don't know what to say, but you know, I hope the people on there can like reevaluate. I know there's people who've been on there and they're like, wow, that got nasty. Obviously that one journalist like was on there a lot and wrote that article and 
wrote other articles about it because she took for what they they went as like this is the truth you know whatever this is we're investigating this even if it was something completely made up like those people did not go to school with me those people did not in my childhood so like how dare anyone that wasn't there in my childhood in my in even in that class like another one of my classmates came forward and stuff like that even like how dare anyone say I was like lying about something like that that's so crazy and again I can like defend myself there's so many things I'm like oh I lied about this I about this. it's like I just don't have the energy or time and there it just doesn't serve any purpose the people who are gonna hate me are gonna hate me but I hope those people can like reevaluate their lives for real. Like if you are someone hating on a baby, like disgusting. And if you think, if you don't like that, I'm posting my child online, like why are you reposting it? And that goes for anyone on YouTube too. People who like hate on me for sharing my family, fine your opinion. But if you go ahead and share photos of my, like you're just as like, it's it's honestly what you, like it doesn't make any sense like oh I don't like that she posts her like child online so let's just make fun of this child and harass this child and all stuff like it's I'm just relieved I'm just relieved and I avoided talking about it for a long time and look there's no way I could go on there and like read that stuff like I used to when I was younger go on like there was a site called Guru Grasper that was kind of the same and I used to go on there. And it would like make me spiral. And now I just went on there to like, look, it was a specific user, post my videos, report them, you know, and if someone sent me like a link of someone talking about my child or something, I tried to report it, but they weren't doing anything about it. But I'm thankful. I'm so, so thankful that that Reddit is down and that Reddit takes something seriously. And again, the copy, if it's the copyright, I'm thankful for that because I do put a lot of work into my videos and a lot of time to shoot them, to edit them, to upload them, all of it. Um... And again, thank you guys. There are so many supporters that like, honestly, I just focus on the positive, even during my pregnancy, you know, of course I would see that stuff and I would just, you know, focus on the good because there's so much more good online. And when I say there's like, there was like 40,000 people over there, which doesn't seem like a lot, right? It's not like a lot, but it is when it's like hateful. And for all the people that either don't know about it, great. I'm so happy you don't. For those who did and like chose to ignore it, thank you. For those who did and chose to do something about it and report it, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like that's very cool because, you know, like I'm I'm working I'm I'm working on myself, right? I'm a work in progress and I'm really trying to change. And there are people who like want to keep you in that bubble and don't want you to change. And then there's people who just downright hate you. That just that just incites so much hate. Like it's crazy. Like just only were under the guise of, like they thought they were trying to protect my daughter. Like it, it it became scary. Like the fact that they thought they were one trying to hold me accountable by just making fun of the way I look and the way my husband looks. Okay, what? If there's so many things, there's so many things you want to come for me for for my past or whatever. Like come for those. Why do we come for my looks? Second, if you think you're trying to protect my daughter, like why are you? doxing her house why are you wishing for her house to go away or the school she'd go to like it's it's scary that but like the delusion was real there the delusion was real that they I really think they thought they were trying to protect which is scary which is scary unto itself um so I'm just thankful for this day November 4th I'm thankful for this day that I have some sort of relief and some sort of peace of mind um because again like it's you know you just ignore the best you can but there's always that looming thing and I know so many reddits are so hateful and I don't I just found out about reddit like I said about a year and a half ago and I don't know if it's always been like this um my husband he's known about reddit for a while and he said it wasn't always like hateful like this like it kind of like became a newer thing where people just went on there to hate or something. I don't know. But I hope that they, you know, continue to take this seriously for everyone. I, I think it's a really big victory and a really big feat. And so many people are kind of shocked that my, that Reddit was taken down because Reddits just aren't taken down. I know people who really fight hard that have like connections. I have no connections, but people who have managers or connections that try and take their Reddits down because of so much hate and they just don't get taken down. But I do think there needs to be stricter rules in place like even if if they post photos of like minors and blur out their faces if there's like if they're like inciting hate or showing where they lit like that's I don't know I think that there should just be especially when like there's no parental consent for that it's it's crazy um 
but I'm like, like seriously, I still feel like a little shaky about it because it's just, it's, it's just a relief. It's been, it's been, it's been brutal. It's been really difficult. And I've been on social media for 16 years and never have I experienced the doxing, the harassment, the, the just downright hate, just wanting to like, it's not just bringing me down or bringing me on social media. It's just like trying to destroy it, like literally trying to destroy my life in every single way and just taunting and tormenting. And I mean, they were sick people. They were super like really sick people. I mean, I'm, that's where the whole thing started with, oh, Moses is her assistant. My husband's my assistant. Then it became, oh, her husband is the one taking care of her baby. You mean the father? A father is taking care of his child? It, it was, it was great. Like it was insane. It was insane. The fact that they're like calling Dior to see if they sent me a baby package. Like I was like, and it like, it freaked me out. Like watching someone make that call and like this person on customer service being like, what the heck? Like there's people I text all the time. It, I won't even say the model name, but there's like malls where like I text all the time for the ones Yaga for the Dior, whatever. It's like, And the fact that they like, they're just, like I said, they're just hateful. They're just so, so mad at like what? That a father is taking care of his child. And I don't know. I don't know. And like, it really is like sad. And I'm not even trying to be patronizing. It really was just sad. So that's why I'm saying, I hope now some people can like see the light and be like, cause I, I have seen people be like, yeah, I was on that. And they like actually are kind of like scary. And it's like, it's just embarrassing. And some of these people, I would say it's kids. It's not early kids. It's like middle-aged people, supposedly some that have kids. I don't know. But really just looking for anything wrong too. Like it, 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 I don't know. I'm just, I'm so relieved and I'm so thankful. Thankful, 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 grateful, grateful, grateful. And, um, Again, thanks everyone for the support through pregnancy and through this. Like, it's made me love social media again, made me excited about social media again. And, excuse me, this is just like, um, I don't know, it's kind of like this <sighs> sign of like, I don't know, that everything is okay and that like, I don't know. I just have a lot of emotions and yet I can't articulate all of them, but I'm just, the biggest one is grateful and relief and peace of mind. And, um, if one thing, all of that hate has showed me is like, I'm the last person to judge anyone. I'm the last person to talk about anyone. Cause I would hate to, even if people say, Oh, don't send a hate mom. Don't do that. Like if you're talking about someone in a negative light or making like really harsh criticism or even getting information wrong or spreading lies or whatever, like you're inciting this hate that can actually be really dangerous. And that's what's scary is that one day the hate or the doxing or so, like it can just go a little too far. And, and that's the scary thought. So I don't know, hopefully, And I don't hate any of them, by the way. I don't hate any of them. Like I said, I feel sad and I would I would kind of hint at it in videos, like or like talk about it a little bit, where I'm like, I was a hateful person too. Like I really hated my life and I hated the position I was in and I would be jealous of others. I would see other people get married or be happy. And I never even went to the extent of like leaving a nasty comment. I just never thought like, what's the point? I'm not gonna waste that much time. But I would hate watch people. And like I understood it because like I hated my life. I was so lonely. I was so depressed. I had nothing going for me. So like all I did was hate watch people to make myself feel better because sometimes, yeah, someone had a worse life than me or something and I'd hate watch or someone had a really great life and I'd hate watch because I'd be like, well, they're gaining weight or they're this. And I would like bask in if they were getting canceled or had a scandal. And it just was like so toxic and it just it just brought more toxicity to my life. It brought more, it brought me down. Like I really truly believe what you put out is what you get back. And that's negativity. If you put that out, you get it back. If you put out love, you get it back. And it taught me a lot. Like, honestly, like, cause I don't even consider it getting canceled. I consider it like there was an unwarranted amount of hate that turned into something 
so disgusting and so ugly that I've never seen in 16 years. I've, I've had people like hate on me, right? Like I've been a part of popular groups on YouTube and stuff like that. And you know, I leave the group or whatever. And I like, you know, I'm like, oh, that, that wasn't a good time for me. And then of course some people for a little while will just be like, it's like a battle back and forth, but it never gets nasty like this. It never gets dark like this. It never starts like going into personal life, sharing, wishing disgusting things on people. Like it's, it's insane. Like actively calling places in my area, fertility clinics, like harassing fertility clinics that I wasn't even going to like wishing awful, awful things on, on us and people around us harassing people around us. It was, sorry. It was a lot. And it all came from this place. And, um, and it's just a really, and like I said, I know I post my, I know what being online means, you know, open yourself up to criticism and judgments and of course people not liking you and stuff. But this is, this is like beyond that. And it's a level I've never seen online. So I'm so thankful. And yes, of course, those people are still out there, but now it's like, you know, um, what is it like taking the wind out of their sails a little bit, you know, when there's like this, oh, they think they're like so powerful and stuff. And now when it's just like a few people on Twitter making fake accounts or whatever, it's fine. But, um, it's not fine, but it's just, again, it's not as impactful because people just thrived off of any misfortune or just looking at anything and just wishing just ill on someone for literally no reason an innocent child that's just been born it's like even like the moses hate and stuff like the stuff that they just would make up and stuff it was just crazy just because they were associated with me it's like i don't know i'm just so thankful i'm so so thankful and thank you guys again for your support and anyone who reported over there thank you I am all about free speech, say what you want, you know, make fun of me or whatever. But it's like, there's so many lines that were crossed that were so disgusting and so vile. Whew. And I'm just so, 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 so happy that this happened today. And like I said, I didn't know if I was going to talk about it. I don't want to like glow in it. And you honestly don't want to talk about something either that, I don't know, you don't want to like jinx anything, but I'm just in this moment, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I have peace of mind and it feels like that I can breathe and be online and all of that. So, whew. all right. <sighs> Thanks, guys. And I will see you in uh, the next video. I wasn't planning on even making a video today. So, <sighs> thank you. <laughs>